Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 20th, 2020. So hey everyone, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. We had quite a, well, the rally last week was just truly remarkable. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in, grab ourselves our beverage of choice here, and let's prepare for the morning market prep video for Monday. So this morning we have an interesting situation that we're facing. We have a market that is bullish on the chart, but we have a bit of a pullback coming uh, this morning. Dow futures are currently down 464 points as I speak, 464 points. And what's really happening here is uh, US crude prices just fell off a cliff overnight, um, down 19, 20%. Um, and that is dragging the rest of the market lower this morning. So what do we have going on here? Well, as you can see right now, we have rallied up more than 50% of this current sell-off. And you can see right up here on the Dow, we have some um, resistance right in here. I'm gonna actually move that just slightly lower right in here. And we ran up here and we tested that resistance right here on Friday clipped right into that. And if we take a look at our moving averages, you can see here on our daily chart that we have came really, really close. We came really close from testing that 50 day moving average. Now, unfortunately this morning with the gap down, we're looking at opening below the tail of Monday, or excuse me, Friday's low which um, is certainly not very favorable uh, for the market, but we are pushing back down here into this price support uh, level here. So here's what we have to look at. Um, right now, I think if we pull back, if we were to pull back into this area, there's really nothing wrong with that right now. Um, no big no big problem and if we were to fail that level we have a level right here that could actually catch us here in um, this price now unfortunately that's a pretty substantial move if we take a look at the dow let's go to the the dow and check this pullback that pullback would be somewhere around 1700 points if we came into that next level of support so that could be pretty substantial if we do go all the way back down there and test that level now the other positive things to kind of be keeping an eye on here in the chart is noticing that we are still in a current trend we don't really fail this trend until we break down below that level that would be a problem for us and the same would be true here in the diamonds if we take a look at that we have a nice little trend going on here and as long as we can hold this area of support right now we will hold on to that trend so we're still in a pretty good bullish situation it all depends on how the market reacts to these things this morning and how we react to a uh, bunch of earnings uh, today that could move us around. So watch those levels closely. That'll be key. Now, if we fail down through this level, that would be a bit of a problem here for the market. I would see that as a full-on break of trend. Any rally back at that point would be, um, we'd have to watch carefully um, and even suspiciously as a chance of running into resistance and failing pushing us on lower so watch those levels closely we've got a lot to deal with here in this market let's take a look at the spy spy stronger whoops a stronger situation than the Dow in that we ended up closing Friday just ever so slightly above that blue 50-day moving average and notice also that we have 
a 500 day moving average right there trying to provide some resistance now this morning we're looking again at a pretty substantial gap down we're even going to give up the tail of friday's low um, at the open once again i think we're going to be okay as long as we can hold on to this price support through here just a second my little drawing tool change tools on me so as long as we hold some price support levels right through here I think we're gonna be okay pulling back into here not that big a problem if that were to fail and we pull back into here that would be fairly substantial here on the spy remember our trend is running right through here so breaking down into here doesn't hurt us if we can bounce off however if we start to slip below that watch for that quick move down into this level hard to know what's going to happen ahead of so many earnings reports it could be well it could be pretty brutal um, and let's face the fact that we have rallied a, a tremendous amount. We're up more than 50%. So a pullback really doesn't seem to be all that unlikely. Um, but let's hope for a consolidation, a pullback into a consolidation and a hold. That would be probably where most people would prefer instead of seeing us break all the way back down. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the Qs being the strongest of the indexes by far, but I'm also going to provide the caveat that I think it's also the most overextended index by far. Um, nine days up where we gained more than 50, well, almost 15%, over 14% with gaps and holes behind in this chart. Pretty amazing how much we have rallied here in this chart we have a price resistance up here to be considering in that chart and this morning as you can see we're gapping down and we're going to give up most of friday's move so we'll, we'll want to watch that closely however i don't think there's any major problem here in this chart unless we come back into here if we lose that gap right in here drop all the way back down into here that would be a problem now we still have this trend so you could see we could pull all the way back into there just because we're kind of overbought in here pull a long ways back and then still pop back up we'll have to watch that closely here in the chart remember if we start breaking that and moving down into these levels it could be kind of brutal now we also have our moving averages that are going to give us some support so as you can see, we're well above our 50-day moving average. And that pullback back into here would really be nothing more than a test of that 50-day moving average as support. Keep in mind that 200-day moving average could even get involved here and add some additional support in that NASDAQ chart. So NASDAQ being the strongest of the market by far, we'll just want to keep an eye on this as um, we kind of pull back. Um, as I speak, Dow futures have continued to fall. We're down more than 500 points now on those Dow futures. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, the weakest of the indexes, out there didn't participate didn't make that new high um, like the other indexes did but it is still holding up in a trend so let's take a look at what we have here our trend right through here continues to hold we have a support level right in this area a pullback into here won't hurt us at all as we if we can hold that trend obviously if we fail through there then we've got a bit of a problem to be concerned about Let's keep in mind that IWM rallied right back up into that 2018 low. That's about all it's been able to do here. So IWM is being drug around like, like a boat anchor right now by the other indexes and um, is weighing pretty heavily on the market. So watch that closely. If this begins to fail, it could be the early warning um, in the market. Notice that we're gapping down this morning and we will quickly be approaching that support level in the chart. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at our moving averages on here, you can see we're testing that 34 EMA um, moving average. We're still a long ways away from that 50 day moving average and that 50 day moving average is still dropping pretty, pretty steeply. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, 
rallied and failed at the 50-day moving average. That is a good sign right there. Technically, that's a good sign. Notice our um, 8 exponential, our 34 exponential, our 20 exponential are all up here creating this resistance zone in this VIX chart. However, those can be blown away pretty quickly on shocking moves and kind of like the shocking move we're starting to see this morning. I would expect the VIX to gap higher this morning and get a little bit more energetic than we've seen the last few days. If that VIX pops back above that 50-day moving average, remember, that's okay. What's going to be really important is if it actually holds that 50-day moving average of support and bounces higher. That will be the critical point. If we take a look at um, some drawings here on the chart, you can see we are pulling back into some price support levels here around 36 handles. So if we bounce off of that support, there's another little area where we can gain that support to maybe begin to rally in some fear. So let's watch that closely. Now, if we take a look on the chart itself, it's not gonna be too terrible bad until we break that downtrend. We break that downtrend and hold that downtrend as support, that's where the real selling will come in. So watch that carefully. How about we take a look at T2122, which is four week, the four week new high day low ratio. And this is our problem right now. We um, we extended this rally to a, a kind of a silly level. Um, we're an all or nothing market right now. Either we're completely exuberant, over exuberant, buying everything that you know that we see, or we just hate the world and everything sells off. So right now we're up here in this in this uh, bearish reversal zone, that place where we could actually shift lower and obviously we're shifting lower this morning um, current futures Dow futures now down 534 so I suspect we're going to see this drop significantly significantly today um, in a big swing back down now whether it stays down there all day long I certainly wouldn't want to predict that but certainly the shocking move this morning um, reversing things a little lower here so watch that carefully we are in that short-term overbought condition so um, let's watch watch carefully um, hopefully we catch those levels of support that hold us up let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar has a few things that we should be paying attention to um, if we look at today's calendar however not a whole lot on today's calendar, as you can see, we've got uh, Chicago Fed activity, not expected to move the market, and a couple of bond auctions. But notice throughout the week, we have kind of, it's it's rather a light economic calendar week until Thursday. And as you can see, we have these key reports here. Thursday will be our biggest day of key reports and then durable goods orders and consumer sentiment on Friday. So a few things that could move us around a little bit, but we're primarily going to be focused, I think, this week on earnings. And we kick out that off today with uh, about 77 companies reporting earnings. So let's take a look at what we have going on in those earnings reports. Um, ALLY, I can't type this morning. ALLY um, is reporting this morning. Right now it's looking to gap just a little bit lower. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that chart. Um, just looking at some of the key um, stocks, uh, kind of notable stocks that are reporting. ACC, no, doesn't look like we've got a report here, but maybe um, tipping its hand a little bit uh, south on there. So watch ACC. Um, EFX, EFX, big wide bid ass spread here. Looks like we're still waiting on that earnings report. Halliburton will be reporting today and Halliburton's looking to gap just a little bit lower. Now I can't tell you if that has anything to do with their earnings report yet or if this is just a reaction to what's going on in oil right now. So watch that closely. IBM, IBM reporting today. 
Um, kind of just hanging in here right now. Can't tell that there's been a report there. MTB, MTB reporting today. Again, wide bid ask spread, no report there. NVR will be reporting. Um, geez, massively wide bid ask spread here. It's even off the chart. So um, NVR might want to keep an eye on that big wide bid ask spread here. Nobody really knows what what to think of this. I guess TFC TFC will be reporting today. It looks like it is trying to modify itself just a little bit higher here this morning. Might want to keep uh, an eye on TFC. And last but not least, Zion Zion uh, will be reporting today. Apparently no report yet, bid ask spread really wide here on that, waiting for those reports to come out. So keep a close eye on those earnings reports this morning. And as we head through this week, it just really ramps up. We go into more and more earnings and we'll start seeing some of those big tech earnings that could really begin to move the market around significantly. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you find this video to be helpful in how you approach the day kind of getting you prepared for the day i would really appreciate it if you would click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment i do try to to answer as many of those as I possibly can um, and I really want to say thank you you guys are just helping the channel to continue to grow as we reach more and more folks so thank you very much for that you guys are awesome you rock so how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind that all of these stocks could be much different okay um, as we open up this morning with this big gap down so let's keep that in mind um, cgc is one i've been keeping an eye on some of the cannabis stocks cgc crone all of those are holding in a nice consistent uh consolidation pattern now i can't tell you if they're going to stay there but one thing i like is that the con consolidation pattern is getting tighter here in cgc so you can see we're looking to open somewhere in the middle of that range here this morning i want to keep an eye on that this is kind of broken through that downtrend held it as support trying to hang in here and might be trying to send set some kind of an upside trend here so keep an eye on cgc it could be coming around one to watch anyway um, trying to pick up another place that i noticed um, at the end of the week um, last week was a lot of the um, casinos were holding up really really well so you, as you look here Caesars Caesars having moved up nice and high here um, breaking through that resistance right there holding it as support and then trying to move on higher so we have a bit of an upside move beginning to occur here in Caesars now I suspect as we're seeing here this morning that's gonna pull back into this consolidation this morning and pull back but let's watch these in here if these can actually hold above these levels of support there may be an opportunity here in these charts and the thing is I see I've seen that across lots of different charts here in Las Vegas Sands we see a break of a downtrend we're trying to hold this uptrend and we're in this consolidation so pulling back this morning we're gonna pull back down here into this consolidation watch this if that can hold in here there still may be the opportunity for this to to catch that support and start to move higher win would be another one that i saw hanging out in here win trying to hold up and there's that trend again this consolidation now this one still has to deal with this price resistance right in here but you can see win is looking to open up just slightly lower this morning and if it continues to move around in here maybe even over to trend another week or so there's still that opportunity of that popping higher so keep an eye on that chart another place you might want to look are some of the um 
consumer discretionary stocks. Consumer discretionary um, uh, are those con um, in XLY um, ETF. You might want to watch that. They have been rallying up strongly. Now, I will say I think they're a little bit extended at the moment and could easily pull back. But if the market's going to start slipping south, XLY might be a place to look. We might keep an eye on that here um, as these consumer discretionary um, stocks really hold up well. And by the way, in TC2000, this is really a wonderful thing about this software. If you just click this one icon, you can pull up a list of everything that is in TC2000 and quickly look through and see what's holding that index up. So pretty interesting um, way to quickly get to some stocks. Um, in that so um, XLY might be a place you could look XLP the consumer staples might be another place to look as you can see holding up in a beautiful strong trend here and holding above support and although it's pulling back this morning we'll want to watch this these staple charts um, are something we need to be paying attention to and last but not least here I'm running out of time but one of the places we may also so want to look if the market's going to start pulling back and showing um, danger we want might want to look to some of the safety plays such as gld now gld pulled back here on friday pretty strongly and it's holding right in this level but if the market is going to pull back you can expect a little bit of rush to safety could occur might want to keep an eye on gld maybe silver slv holding up in here might be a place to look we might also want to take a, a quick look at bonds like tlt tlt pulled back a little bit but this is obviously holding up strongly in a trend lots of volatility in here but strongly in the trend and and this has the backstop of the fomc so kind of keep an eye on those kind of things um last but not least <laughs> found another one that i wanted to talk about would be utilities now utilities is all they're obviously something we're going to continue to use um, and no matter what goes on um, in this crisis and where the market goes but you can see utilities um, having a nice positive response to this support level pulling back into that trend popping higher on friday let's keep an eye utilities might be a place to look for a little bit of safety so everyone as i close out this video dow futures are down 540 points we could see kind of a rough day today be careful, stay focused on price. Try not to predict, just stay focused on price action. Trade what you see in that chart. Everyone, I wish, want to wish you all of the best. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care now.